Hey dad. Hey son, what's going on? So I have finally saved enough to get my first car. I can't wait. Oh that's great. Congratulations. Thanks but there is just one problem. I don't know what car to get. At least I have narrowed it down to two cars though. Well it sounds like you need to do differential analysis. What? A differential analysis. It's a process where you focus on costs and benefits that differs between two alternatives. In this case your two cars. It's simple accounting. I'm very confused. Okay, let me show you. What cars do you have in mind? Well, I'll be using it for school and to go to responsible places like that library and study groups. I see. A smart car. Right. But the other car is a BMW. It's older but it's sporty, all fixed up, and totally looks cool. So in reality what we will have to do is to compare between smart car and BMW. So, do a differential analysis by comparing two alternatives. Smart car versus BMW. Let's take a look at your monthly income which is $1,500 and if you look at the car payment, you will be paying $360 per month for the smart car and for BMW, you will be paying $400 per month. And then the car depreciation, that's the value that goes down every year for the car. If we divide the yearly value by 12, we get the value per month which comes out to be $150 per month for the smart car and $142 for BMW. In terms of driving the car and how many miles you use per month, the gasoline cost will be $145 per month for the smart car and $130 per month for BMW. And now look at your campus parking fee, which is the same for both cars, which is $12.50 per month. Um, okay. So, let me start off by explaining the difference between the fixed and the variable cost. Variable cost varies time to time and it shows the difference in the usage. Fixed cost it stays the same month to month, year to year, there is no change. Let me explain the difference between relevant and irrelevant cost. Relevant cost it really makes a difference in terms of making the decision. Irrelevant cost has no impact on the decision. For example car payment is a fixed cost and it's relevant. Depreciation is fixed cost and also relevant. The cost of gasoline is variable and it's relevant. If we look at the campus parking fee, it's irrelevant to the decision that we are making here because the cost is the same for both cars. Dad, remember that the bicycle that you are riding is the sunk cost because you have already paid for it and it doesn't affect the decision that you are making here. So now that you have all the relevant costs and the difference between the benefits and costs of each automation. You know what? I am just gonna ride my bicycle. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Huh? You have a good day.